Hey guys, it's Alex, and welcome back to Ruby Tutorials for Beginners. In the last video, I taught you about uh, arrays in Ruby, and you saw how simple they are, they're really easy to understand, and they're used quite a lot in uh, not only Ruby, but in every programming language. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you methods that will really much, uh, pretty much uh, ease your workflow with arrays. Um, here are like what 12 methods that I will show you really quickly so the first one I want to show you, it's not really a method it's a negative position like a hack let's say uh, let's first of all create an array and I'm gonna say one two three four five six right now to access for example the last uh, item we were gonna say array five because we have six items now oops that's from the last tutorial. Now, uh, I forgot to put it out, so let's say puts. Now let's run it again and we get six. But what will happen if we run array with a position of minus one? We will also get six. Now, if we do minus two, we'll get five, right? So basically when you put a negative in front of the position, you will start counting backwards. But it's not like minus zero, it starts from minus one, so that's it's pretty much minus one is your last position, minus two is your, uh, uh, you know, a second to last, and so on. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is first and last. That's pretty much self-explanatory. So puts array dot first. Guess what we will get now? The first position. What if we do last? We'll get the last position. All right. Now let's do fetch. All right. So what fetch does is it allows you to fetch a current position. For example, if, we, if I want to fetch uh, the third position, well, actually, that's the fourth, we'll get four. So instead of doing array, you know, four, uh, three to get the number four, you know, we get the same result. We can do array dot fetch and then enter the position. So I want the third position that will be four, right? But what will happen, okay, so let me just go back. So what will happen here if we put in a position that doesn't exist? Let's see. We get nothing. We get nil. No. But what if we do the same with fetch? What will we get now? An error, right? Yeah. Um, what we're going to do, uh, what we can do is when we're using fetch, we can also give it a trial uh, an error message. So if we say nope and run it again, we get we get nope. Why do we get nope? Well, basically the first argument is the position that we want to get, and the second argument is the error message. If we can't find if that position is not uh, available, if there is no such position. All right, super simple method. Let's uh um yeah actually that's uh, the next one is two positions so you know in the last tutorial i showed you how we can do puts array you know for example one and that will return two but we can also do one and three and that will get one uh that will get two and four uh two three and four uh yeah that will get from the second position to the third position to the fourth position uh, so if we do from zero to three, that will go from one, two, three, and four, uh, excluding the last one, my mistake. So it goes including the first position, but it, it, um, uh, does not include the last position. All right, let's move on. The next one is slice. N now notice how, um, I've put two versions. So the first one is without, you know, um, um, in this sign, I keep forgetting what it's called. Uh, explanation point. No, exclamation point. Yep. Um, so the difference is, let me just give you a simple example. So slice is pretty much self-explanatory. When we do array dot slice, let's just put it out. Puts array dot slice, and then from one to two. Let's actually do from zero to two and clear it we get one and two why do you get that so we get from the first position and we also get the second position um and it should go to the third position but as i said previously it never includes the last position so we're basically just slicing the array from this position to this position including the first position but excluding the last one uh the second uh 
I know it sounds really weird, but that's how it is. Okay, but what will happen if I don't put it out? What if I just do this and then I put out the whole array? We get the whole array, but why? We didn't we slice it? Well, that's the key difference between the exclamation mark and without an exclamation mark. When there is no exclamation mark, we are basically creating a copy of this array. So we can set it to a new variable, for example, a. And now you can just put a and we will get that cut um, array. But um, if we want to change our current array, we put an exclamation mark. And this way, it will actually change the main array. It won't just create a prototype. There we go. We get three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, okay, now that's where it gets even more complicated. Um, so basically, when we have an exclamation mark, and I have no idea what that is, we are saying um, which to exclude, right? So we're saying we don't want the we don't want from the first position to the second position. So if we say, for example, from 0 to 3, we will exclude 1, 2, and 3. And we will have only 4, 5, 6. 4, 5, 6, yeah. I know it's complicated. It's not complicated, but it's really weird. I have no idea why they done it like that. Uh, it threw me off a couple of times in the beginning, but that's how it is. So, All right, so now what take does, it's... The next method is take, actually, I forgot to mention. So what take does is, if we say take three, guess what it will do? It does nothing. Now, let me just uh, see why. Oh, yeah, because I'm not putting it out. <laughs> I'm stupid. Uh, there we go. So it takes the first, three, uh, the first three positions. If we say take one, it will just take the first one. So it just takes as many items as you pass in as an argument, uh, beginning from the uh, from the start to the end. Um, the next method is sample. So sample is uh, a method that will return uh, not a custom, um, you know, a random value from the array. So if we run array dot sample, each time it will, it will give us something uh, different. With uh without the parentheses um and without an argument it just returns one by default but we can say sample two now let me just clear that and it will give us two random numbers from the array and again our array can have strings and booleans and everything we want it can even have array in an array that's uh you know an associative array you can have anything um and I'll talk about that in a later tutorial. All right, so the next method is include. Now, include returns a boolean, either true or false. Now, let's say uh, we have to put it out because it doesn't change the array. So, puts array dot uh, include, and notice how we have a question mark. And does it include, for example, two? Now, let's give it this uh, go, and we get true. But what if we say does it include ten? We'll get false. It's really simple. Um, the next method is reverse. So again, there is an exclamation mark and there is a version without an exclamation mark. The same thing goes there uh, as in slice. So if we say our um, puts array dot reverse, we will just reverse the array. So six, five, four, three, two, one. But what if we uh, first reverse it and then put it out, puts array, puts just array up. We'll get one, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. But if we put in the exclamation mark, we will actually ch be changing the main array, not just creating a prototype. So six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. All right. The next method is sort. Same thing goes there. So array dot sort. Uh, let's just put it out. That will sort it in alphabetical order. Now you can create custom sort methods, um, but I will not be showing you in this tutorial because it requires a knowledge of map and so, uh, not select a map of n each. And I'll be talking about that in a couple tutorials. Um, let me just uh, give us a string because when it's sorting numbers, it's pretty easily. Uh, it's pretty easy. So we can say, for example, x, uh, a, 
B no let's say G uh, B and C and let's say Y now let's see how that will pronounce so A B C G X Y so it uh, orders it in alphabetical order and if it's a integer it will sort it from um, smallest number to highest number but again if we don't put in the puts and then we put out the array separately it will not change the array so if we put an exclamation mark we suddenly change the array all right simple enough unique um that will just return the unique values so let's say a and then a and then one one three two three eight and then if we put out array dot unique uh, unique we'll get only the unique values and again <laughs> i'm just going to show that for everyone so that you can actually understand it puts array so if we do it separately we will not change the array but if we put in uh exclamation mark we are suddenly changing the array. The last one I want to show you is join and split. All right, so join and split, they're not array methods. They can use, well, actually they are array methods, but they don't create an array, at least join doesn't. So I'm going to set a variable a to array.join, and then the argument that you give is um, what you want it to be joined by. So what join does, it's going to take each item and it's going to turn it into a string. And it's just going to create a string AA113231 as one item. And we, if we pass in an argument like this, uh, just a space, we will create a string, you know, as the array. And for example, if we put a comma, we can see that we are separating each item by a comma and a space. Now we can put a custom word, for example, and and then we'll be separating the items by the and sign so basically join just creates a string from all the items what split does is the opposite it creates from a string it creates a uh, an array so we can have array um a variable a and let's set it to a b whatever we want you know like this and we can say uh, array equals a dot split. And then what are we going to split by? We're going to split by the spaces because you can see that each item that we want to be an array is um, separated by a space. So we're going to go like this. And then we're going to put out the array. And we see each item is in the array. Now what if we have a comma here? Like this and we do the same result you can see that each item has a comma now how do we do how do we remove the comma well we just uh, split it by a comma and a space and we get the items that we desire all right so those are the um, 12 or 11 I don't know how many methods we have already that I wanted to show you the, those are really simple methods don't worry don't worry about um, remembering them because honestly I had forgotten totally that some of them even exist. So yeah, um, I'll see you in the next tutorial.